What's up guys, today we are going to make a comparison between two of the best fusion linear rifles which are cataclysmic and scintillation. This video will help viewers to find out which rifle might suit their gameplay style better. The topics I'm going to talk about are both linear type and how to get them, the guard roll you should craft or farm for, DBS performance comparison, utility and versatility, and which is better. If you are interested in any specific topic of this, please feel free to skip to it. Starting with the type of each one and how to get them. The Cataclysmic is a solar one-shot linear which you can get from Vow of the Disciple Raid. And if you collect 5 red borders of this weapon, you will be able to craft it and get the guard roll which I will talk about in the roll section of the video. For the scintillation, it's 3 pairs linear which is much faster and easier to get. You just have to complete the Grandmasters which can be done so fast compared for doing great and hope to get the Cataclysmic from any encounter. For the guard rolls, for the Cataclysmic, the only role you should be looking for to craft is 4th time the charm and bait and switch. And if you level this weapon up, you'll be able to enhance these perks. So bait and switch is 30% damage increase if you use your 3 weapons for short duration. And 4th time the charm will give you 2 shots from thin air if you hit 4 precision shots. For the scintillation, after doing the test and playing with multiple roles, in the third column you have auto loading, holster, rewind rounds and MVC assassin. And the only perk you should go for is the rewind rounds because you will never have to reload, maybe once, but if you are unlucky and got any of the other two perks, keep them, they will do so good too. The fourth column have bait and switch and firing line, which is 20% damage increase is only for staying near two guardians while doing the damage which is really free especially in a damage phase like the witness encounter so you can keep both rolls and play with whatever suits you i should note that this weapon trait wrist stinger is amazing as it can auto reload weapon from the magazine so you really ne never have to reload until you are out of ammo and the full ammo with full reserve will be about 21 or 22 shots depending on the magazine size you have. For the BS comparison, starting with scintillation, doing with bait and switch, after shooting the first bullet with the first, the bark will start working as the second and the third shot will get 30% damage increase. So you almost have it from the first shot. And for enhance, you will get 11 seconds, so more bait and switch time from the normal version which is 10 seconds so doing the math for dbs for one mag it will be around 96 k's and for the two mags dbs will drop if you have to reload to about 80 k and the total damage will be around 2 million 625k damage which is really high and the reason why linear shines as they are good in the dbs and the total damage for the cataclysmic the dbs with the first mag starts a little bit higher with 102k but you have to reload this weapon more often so the second magazine will dbs will drop to about 86 k's and for the third it will be around 80 k's so the total damage of this weapon is really high at 3 million and 237 k higher than scintillation for utility and versatility so where to use this weapon it's pretty obvious in the damage phase especially in the raids which you have to do high dbs in a short time or dungeon bosses which is better so going to the last topic of the video at which one is better now this will depend on the situation you are on and if you are and if you have time to farm or not i do recommend scintillation for the ease of use and easier to get but if you can get the cataclysmic and your aim is good you can use it it will shine in situations where crit spots are big like the witness and oryx and it will do higher damage and dbs so in my opinion i prefer the scintillation i would love to hear what do you think about it and about the cataclysmic which one is better for you and what suits you please tell me in the comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe to see everything about Destiny 2 as i'm covering it on my channel and until next time stay safe and take care